what's up this is iGames Helper123 or Shakespeare and today I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the OS properly I made a tutorial before but it was out of sync so I thought I'd do it again so the first thing you want to do is actually go into sources and edit add and add in the following two sources first one is nix.howit.net slash the OS and the second one I will show you in a second after this thing is done uh, it will be Coolstar's repo actually and it will be coolstar.org slash public repo unless that gets updated later on that's a different story you'll have to stay updated with Coolstar but that's Twitter you can basically just follow these guys and figure it out but I will actually post the iPhone dev wiki link down in the description to which gets updated uh, as everything gets updated too so you won't be like behind anything so anyways the first package we're gonna get is big boss recommended tools so that we have all the essential essential tools then the second one we're gonna get is iOS toolchain and then the third one we want to get is uh, open SSH we already have that and then we want to make sure we have Apple file conduit 2 then the third one is actually going to simply be called the OS from uh, howit.net of course the fifth one we're gonna get uh, is Perl from Coolstar not anywhere else because Coolstar is Coolstar and then you want to get iFile I've already gotten it so you know I'm not gonna get that again uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a new package as well oh no I'm just not I'm not going to do that. So anyways, after you have all those, queue that and then confirm. Just give it a few seconds because you're going to be downloading about 50 megs onto your iPhone. Uh, it's going to be a long time and trust me, there's more coming to you. So it's definitely not over yet. But basically, these are all the essential tools to get you going. We actually missed one. Uh, we were supposed to get mobile terminal, but we didn't so we're gonna have to go back and get that hopefully this doesn't require a respring so that we can simply just get mobile terminal but it I don't think it will even if it does it's not gonna be a big issue so we will just give it I'll say three two one zero no not today okay that's fine we can wait a few more seconds but basically this is going to be ongoing series of me trying to develop stuff and well not develop but, but well yeah develop and I'm going to be making videos as I go of the actual projects <coughs> so that way you know they act as notes for me so that like when I look back I can recall and you know say I take a break and my skills get faded and then or, or faded but uh, you know could be acting as notes for me and stuff like that so uh, yeah they're gonna be thorough so prepare for long tutorials because I really like to get into details of every single thing because that's exactly how you learn you can't just be like okay you know uh, well, I don't even know how to give you an example because I'm a noob so we'll see where we go from here but you know everybody's a noob when they start so, oh, it does require a respring. So, which means I will have to be right back. And I will be right back. Oh, can't use activator whilst in studio. That is fine. We're just going to display record. Okay, guys, I'm back and let's do this thing. So, go back to mobile to, uh, Cydia. And we're actually going to get two packages. I don't know if uh, we got the APT strict. Oh, we did. Okay. Never mind, only mobile terminal. I usually get the iOS 7 one because I know for sure it works. The rest I really kind of don't feel like experimenting with, so I'm not gonna try them. So once mobile terminal is done, return to Cydia and then just exit out. And actually, you know what? Kill them. So that happens, and then now what you wanna do is actually go into iFile. Uh, go down to slash var slash the OS edit 
plus name SDKs. SDKs. Now, while we're here, go into Make Files and go to, I believe it's Package. Nope, not Package. Master. Oh my god. Targets. Name this folder to Darwin 60 or Darwin ARM 64. So basically, just add 64. I believe this is only for 64 bit people, so not everybody has to do this. But uh, then go into Platforms and rename this one to Darwin ARM 64. And that's about it. The rest comes into your um, actual project. So this is where your mobile terminal comes in. Now we actually need to go into a web address. Well, this is the iPhone Dev Wiki that I will be posting in the description. So go into, uh, I believe it's, uh, well actually, you know what, the link is down here. iPhone.Howard.net slash uh, SDKs and just get the uh, iOS 8.1. Uh, download link, copy it, and then go into terminal. S log in as super user s u a l p i m e. Then go to cd slash var slash tos, I believe, or slash sdks. And ls. There's nothing there because we created the folder, but we never edited anything or we never made anything into it. So now you want to press this i button. Oh no, wait, not that. Press this I button, no, no, not that I button. Short menu, shortcut menu. Label, just, I don't know, like anything. Like, I'll just name it link. Or like, whatever. It doesn't really matter. This is what does matter. Just do, like, just paste the link here. And go back and then just do, um, W get and then link. Enter. And it's actually going to download from that link to this uh, folder. My Wi-Fi is slow, so you're going to have to bear with me. And now, I know some people get only get like a few kilobytes per second, so I'm not ungrateful like that. But anyways, do tar dash x f uh, j, I believe, and then type in the name of the... Uh, SDK. There's another way to do that, but I'm not going to get into that because I'm not really sure. Uh, TBC2. Okay. Maybe you should just do tar XF. iPhone OS 8.1. SDK. TBC2. And just give it a few seconds, it should be done. But if you get the actual SDK, well, this is the actual SDK minus the useless headers that you don't really need. Uh, but um, the other headers, if you try to do this, I mean, the other SDK, that's going to take a while. So I'd suggest use OpenSSH on your PC to do this. I mean, it's the same thing except you're logging in remotely from another computer to do this on your device because it's like a session related thing because if this session ends then the process gets interrupted and it's just a pain because you're gonna have to start all over and you're gonna think it's done but it isn't so now you're gonna go into iFile in this SDKs folder you can delete this TBC2 file or full uh, thing file empty trash because you don't want to use up that space and now you have the actual like SDK and stuff so now you're actually ready to make your uh, folder um, project so do uh, dollar sign TOS slash bin slash nsc.pl and it will give you a tell oh, cowardly refusing inside the OS Wait a second. C slash wire slash mobile. I guess you gotta have to be here. This is weird. Never happened to me before. And then just make make their projects. CD projects. Oops. 
and then do dollar sign dos slash bin slash nick dot pl there we are I don't know why that didn't happen oh I think it's probably because we were in the SDKs folder anyways it hap uh, you couldn't make your projects in root or anywhere in mobile but uh, anyways so do 5 for the tweak basic tweak let's do shake test for the uh, name shake dot test I mean it could be anything shake and then we'll just do this is the important part well, I'll explain in the later tutorials I'll just type in springboard for now <coughs> nothing to terminate and then that's it that you've done it and now you technically speaking you should be able to make your projects so let's do a lot less CD shake test make I'm not sure if it's gonna be made but we'll give it a try there you go it's made if you do make install it's gonna install the package but kinda don't wanna do that right now so anyways uh, this is how you set up the OS and if you have any questions please post in the comments below and I will try my best to answer all of them or friendly community can help you out and I'll see you guys in later tutorials peace